G'day, Harvey here. It's brew day here in my little brew house. Putting together a little blonde ale. Uh, just need something basic and um, not too scary to pay tradesmen with. It's the local currency around here. Uh, while I've been brewing, I've been doing some plumbing work and I'm just about done. I've put a new sink mixer into my bench. I've done the drainage last weekend and I've done the incoming water supply this weekend and so far it seems to be working pretty good. So, um, yeah, that's not that exciting, it's just plumbing. It's, it's a sink, you've all seen one of those before, but I thought I'd show you what I'm up to with my immersion chiller, or my counterflow chiller rather, because that's something that is a little bit interesting. So let's check that out. So here's a new sink mixer, good for cleaning buckets and that sort of fun stuff. Down here, I've got two pipes coming in from the wall. The one on the top's the cold, the one on the bottom's the hot, which I've got a bit of black lagging around to try and keep the pipe nice and warm. Best investment I've made here was these two shut-off valves, just when stuff leaks. It's nice to be able to shut it off there rather than have to go out to the road. So that's been really cool. Um, when I was at the plumbing shop, I got one of these sink traps, S-Bend things, and it's got a little lug on it for the dishwasher, which I thought would be really good for outputting the counterflow into. So that's the output for my counterflow. Um, there's my counterflow chiller sitting there in the purple basket, purple little purple bucket. That's just to pick up any leaks when that thing invariably leaks. Um, and I've always just had hose fittings on the end, so the orange hose fitting is the hot output. That now goes into this dishwasher outlet in the sink, so that's pretty sweet. And then the blue one, the input, once again, just a standard grey hose fitting on that. Normally that's been working off the garden hose, and so I've modified that to connect up to a little solenoid valve, a little 12 volt solenoid valve. As you can see, I've got a bit of a leak there, I need to deal with those connections. And then through about five or six different converters, I've converted that to connect up to a John Guest fitting, which is what the rest of the plumbing is based on. And um, so yeah, so I can flick a switch and the 12 volts runs into that little solenoid, turns that valve on and the counterflow chiller fires up and then chucks its output straight down the drain. Um, now the goal of this is full automation, so once I get it rigged up to the Raspberry Pi, the Raspberry Pi can turn on that solenoid valve and things will be sweet, but at the moment I've just got it in a 12 volt DC wall supply. Fire that up. Hear things kicking into life, but you can't really see much. But you can hear that's all draining down the drain nicely. Yeah, so that's kind of easy. And then when I'm done, flick it off, all goes quiet again. So, yeah, that's my exciting little counterflow chiller project. Which, once we go full automation, that'll just be done at the end of. The 60 minutes, it'll just come on by itself and easy peasy. Cheers.